and it came to pass. Our star of Bethlehem, our star of stars, he raised his head and he looked from over his great white throne beyond the crystalline sea of the bottomless blue sapphire sea of his forgiveness and his total forgiveness, his unconditional love. And his, as he raised his head and spoke forth his very first word, the heavens thundered and the cosmos shook with the rolling thunder and the lightning crashes of his most beneficent and magnificent love of splendor coming forth in this hour to pour out over all spirit and over all flesh for we are all spirits within the flesh and so our lord of kings and our king of lords he raised his head and in that moment if you would have heard a whisper come it was the roaring lion of Zion in the spirit. And he was roaring as softly as a little itty bitty kitty's most whispering, gentle, pleasant, happy and joyous, gay purr. And it was music to the souls of the angels on high as they rejoiced. And from the new Jerusalem on high, the crystal sea, it shimmered and glistened the glory of love, whose glory of his unconditional love shall cover the earth as waters cover the sea, as grass cover the lands, as rainbows cover the skies after the skies have cleared. We haven't been able to see the uh, skies for all the weather and the way. And so when he spoke, it was as powerful as an atom bomb. And his word pierced the soul, could cut a soul right out of the spirit and the spirit right out of the soul. And he said unto them, wide is the way unto hell. And it is paved by your uh, conditional love. Every day that you decide to diminish your love, every day you decide why it's not okay to love, to be kind, to be gentle, uh, to experience long suffering with that love because you love them, to, to give not a shallow love but a deep love. Love is not love until uh, it is loyal and faithful and devoted. If people have a if kind of a love or I love you because kind of love they have no love at all how many people have a million Facebook followers and yet have no friends and narrow is the way unto heaven paved with totally uh, unconditional love so in this hour we must look to the cross and the glory thereof and see the resplendence of that glory shining for our majesty of majesties is our hero of heroes our icon of icons and as he arises praise the lord in this hour he is now having the restoration of his word and now comes forth the shattering of the power of the holy people daniel 12 7 because god's word was only closed until the time of the end for in this hour of the message of malachi 3 1 this is the hour of the angels singing on high this is the hour when the voice of love uh, calls unto his beloved uh, who we are the blessed and the adored of he he doesn't just love us he is totally adores us people and he calls out to each of us as if we were his only one and he says unto all people who will beat their sword into the sickle in order to learn the ways of war no more that we must change our love uh, from conditional into unconditional in order to learn the ways of war no more it's time to wake up people because these are the days of daniel 7 5 the great soviet bear is has now heard uh the voice say now you can go eat all the flesh that you would like it only was chomping on three ribs before stuck between its teeth crimea donetsk and luhansk but it, it just ate kursan so that's the fourth and the war that lasts a time, times and a half a time, 
Uh, this is the latter day war of Daniel 11. The king of the north has invaded the king of the south, and now he is losing. And according to that prophecy, he's going back to uh, Moscow, and then he will march again and go back to the south again. And then he shall bring forth the the nuclear weaponry of Zechariah and multitudes and multitudes shall be in the valley of decision of death as eyeballs consume away in their sockets, tongues consume away in their uh, uh, mouths and their flesh consume away as people stand there. This is the prophecy of death and nothing but death. Death shall be so bad, but if the rainbows are heated and people will pay attention to all that they should, then there is going to be blessedness for our Lord God. He says he wants to return his fierce, terrifying anger. And in order to do so, he needs the veil removed. He needs people to look at the, the crystalline sapphire sea, uh, the living waters that he is pouring out for everyone who will bow unto his love. Unto his name of love shall every knee uh, bow, every tongue shall confess love whom he is. So excuse me as I compose myself here on live YouTube uninterrupted. I gotta I guess turn off my um, flashlight is probably a good idea. And so it came to pass that when the Lord stood, his living water came forth gushing like old faithful, and people uh, would, would never need to thirst anymore. And so he said unto the crowd, when love beckons you to follow him, though even though his ways are extremely hard and steep, even though it is the narrow way to heaven to have unconditional love for all, he says, for all who become puppet masters over their very own love have none at all, if there are any conditions at all. Love isn't even love unless it is given away. And so it is, is absolutely true that there is and never has been any real love it's called conditional love. Love is very extremely patient, very kind, very forgiving. Forgiveness is love. So even though his ways are hard and steep, and when his wings enfold you, yield unto love. And even though the sword hidden among his pinions might wound you, listen and follow him, because when he speaks, uh, you will believe within him, and every knee will bow unto love, every tongue shall confess. And even though his voice might shatter your dreams, Daniel twelve nine, in the days of Elijah, uh, because the word of God was only closed until the time of the end, Daniel twelve nine, and as the north wind lays waste of, to the garden, so shall it now be revealed that mankind has had desolate heritages of love, haven't seen the forest of uh, love for all the trees in the way, hasn't seen the bottomless aspect of the Lord's love. For the Lord says unto all people of his love, to Jew and Gentile, to Hindu and Buddhist and Christian, Islamic and atheist alike, he says, I am your God. You are my people. I forgive all your iniquity. I shall never remember it. I shall write my law and my love upon your heart. Beyond that, none shall ever even need to be taught of me anymore. For all people on earth shall know me from the least to the greatest. Uh, and for I am their love living within them. As it is written in Romans 3.10, there is no damn good people, says Daniel the prophet, the messenger of Malachi 3, one who prepares his way with that message. And so in this hour, all standing against that message, the Lord has a diarrhea shit done crap pie to stick right in your eye, and along with a nice uh, up your nose with a rubber hose so diarrhea goes down your throats and through your ears and out your nose. That is the curse of Malachi too. So please don't experience that kind of crap. I don't got boots deep enough for that kind of shit. 
truth is you got to fall on the rock and not have the rock fall on you. I know all that sounds really un unpleasant, but that's how much the Lord cares that we will make a change. Because in these days of Elijah, uh, so is it, Jeremiah 30, 24 declares, it shall be considered in the latter days uh, that the Lord says, I shall return my fierce, terrifying anger if my people will give me the desire of my heart to change to become more loving, to let smiles and kindness go out in front of us. And so even though love's face, where did my glasses go? I dropped my little glasses. 61, I probably got cataracts by now. But uh, even when he speaks, you shall believe in him. And even though, uh, so shall it be that as love crowns you, so shall he crucify you. Even as he is for your growth, so is he for your pruning. Welcome to this word of Cahill Gabran. Even from the prophet, even as he ascends unto your highest height and caresses your tenderest branches quivering in the sun, so shall he descend unto your roots and shake them silly, all those that have been clinging unto the earth. And in the latter days of Elijah, as Sir Isaac Newton says, one would come forth, Elijah insisting on his literal interpretation of Bible prophecy admit much clamor and much opposition. For all people watching me all have a false God. If you don't have the God who is the Lord God of all mankind, you've got a false God, Jeremiah 32, 27. If you don't have a Jesus who's the good shepherd over all the flocks of man, you got a false God. And if you don't have a God who has unconditional love, you most definitely have a false God because there is no such thing as conditional love. And lastly, if you have a God who's a respecter of men that likes you best, you know you have a false God because he, he, he lets it rain on the just and the unjust and he loves us all alike by the covenant of his law of love, which is that kingdom age word that comes for tearing down instead of building up just as it is written in Jeremiah 1.10 and Haggai 2.2 2, because it is addressed correctly in the Bible to Israel and all mankind. And when you hear those words, I am your God, you are my people, then Satan is removed for 1,000 years according to, to uh, Daniel 12.1 and all faith on earth is totally obsolete, saith the Lord God uh, in Hebrews 8. So know that... Uh, it's time that like sheaves of corn, he shall gather you unto himself and he shall thresh you to make you naked. And he will, uh, I can't say it, sift you. I always had a problem. I had to go, uh, Sister Cheryl, Sally sells seashells by the seesaw. <laughs> Wicks on the merge. Wicks on the merge. Like sheaves of corn, he will gather you unto himself. He'll thresh you and make you naked, shift you. He'll grind you down to a powder, unto whiteness, and he will need you until you need him and are pliable. And then he will assign you to his sacred fire in the days of the restoration of all things of Acts 3, in the days of the refiner's fire, and the days of his living water flowing as a geyser, a waterfall of his blessedness, as he pours out his spirit upon all flesh. So it's time to enter the cave, and it's time to look at the stars at night. And so in this hour, he is now assigning us uh, to a, a sacred feast. And all these things he foretold, who shall come and feed the master's household meat while the master is away? Matthew 24, 45. It is I who have built the latter day mountain of 12,000 videos so the people can look out my cave to see what I see, that his love is all totally full and everybody only sees his love as half empty. Uh, if, if we're good, he loves us. And if we're bad, he hates us. And this has never been true. All sin has been forgiven us except the blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. 
Jesus said himself that we got to be as a little child with our love as a verb. So get out of the land of the walking dead where you become a toad in a pot with the temperature up just right so that he cooks. Uh, he doesn't even realize that he's desensitized, becomes a dead duck, a cooked goose. So in this hour, it's time to get out of the land of the walking dead where you become just nothing but someone who has an appearance of godliness but denies the power of love for there is no damn good person, not one, only uh, our Lord God is good. And so he, for that reason, everyone that has their love on is pretty good people. And so praise the Lord. New definitions are coming. I am Elijah. I am Shiloh of Genesis 49, 12, one whose eyes are red and dull of wine. And all these things shall love do unto you that, that you might know the secrets of your heart. And in that knowledge, you'll become a fragment of life's heart of hearts. But if you fear, you would seek only love's peace and love's pleasure. Then it would be better for you that you would cover your nakedness and pass out of love's threshing floor into the seasonless world where you shall laugh. But not all of your laughter and not all of your weeping shall be vain because some shall end up becoming tears of joy joy shall come in the morning for if joy is sitting on your head of your bed sadness is at the base and if sadness is at the top then joy is at the bottom of the bed and so therefore know that love gives nothing at all but itself and there is no darker gross darkness than the ignorance of love and people have always been destroyed for their lack of knowledge so all that come unto the Lord he shall fill and he shall make uh, people see that love possesses not nor would it be possessed for love is always sufficient unto love and when you love you should not say God is in my heart but rather you should say I am in the heart of my beloved for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten love so that whosoever would love and believeth in love should not perish but shine as the stars evermore that we were created to be and thank not that you can direct the course of love for love if it finds you worthy it will direct your course for love has never had any other desire but to fulfill itself but if you love and uh, you must have desires then let these be your desires you desire then to melt and be like a running brook singing its melody deep into the night of the shining star of Bethlehem and, and uh, desire to know the pain of too much tenderness and too much unconditional love. Desire to be wounded by your own understandings of love as, as uh, <sighs> error and uh, uh, false falsities fall away. And desire to bleed willingly and joyfully. Desire to wake at dawn and with a have a winged heart and give thanks for another day of loving the Lord God Almighty, our angel of the Lord who is Emmanuel. And it's time to rest at the noon hour and meditate on love's ecstasy. Time to return home at eventide and with gratitude. Let the people rejoice. Let the jubilee of jubilees begin. Let the celebration unending rejoice. Because if uh, people are dumb and will not listen to this rainbow message, then we got the doo-doo ahead of us. Because the Bible says this people... If you won't get with God's program, and if you won't exalt his rainbow promises over all of us, then he cannot even return according to Acts 3, uh, 21. He would be kept in reserve in heaven because he needs his faithful few to begin responding to his message that prepares his way. I am his arrow of Isaiah 49 that was hidden in his quiver a quiver is an arrow bag and if you look in revelation 6 christ the lord is the white horseman and he carries a longbow just for me 
And so it's time to realize that uh, we need to rest at the noon hour and to meditate upon love's greatest ecstasy so that we could return home and always be singing the highest praises. And we were all born together, and together we shall be forevermore, and we shall all be together as one if we walk together as one in love, and we'll be together when the whitest wings of death even scatter our days, but the rainbow promise of an eternal unity with love is always drawing nigh, and together you shall all rejoice even in the silent memory of love who is called each of you by his rivers of charity and his fountains of benevolence. And so let the winds of his tranquility dance between the, the sails uh, because the wind is full and the tide of his joy is with us. So love one another, but make no bonds of love. Let your love between all be like moving sea between the shores of your souls and fill each other's cups, but drink not from one cup because of COVID. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. Uh, COVID, Re Revelation 3, 10, the trial of all flesh that has come to bring God's word of patience, to keep us from the hour of the temptation, not to change, not to beat our sword into the sickle to learn the ways of war no more, not to change our conditional love into unconditional. Listen, you don't have to like everybody, but it's time to start loving everybody, realizing there's never been any differences between any of us. Um, and it's time to give one another of your bread, but eat not from the same loaf because of monkey pox. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't say that. So sing and dance together, rejoice and be joyous, but let each one of you be alone. But even as the strings of a lute are alone, they will all quiver together with the same music. So give your hearts to excitement, but keep your hearts not into each other's keeping. And if you love someone, set them free. If they come back, they are yours. And if they don't, they would never were. And know that only the hand of life can contain all of your hearts. So stand together and yet not too closely together. Be as the flowers of a garden, all showing your finest apparel of love. And yet together you are as a beautiful botanical garden. So stand close. Uh, and for the pillars of the temple, do not stand apart too much. And the oak tree and the cypress grow not in each other's shadow. And so it is time to rejoice in love, and it's time to listen to what the Word of God is saying in this hour. And he is saying, beloved, it's time to love. That is the faith of Chrislam. That is the faith of Isa Yeshua Jesus. That is the faith of the Abrahamic accord that has been made with Pope Francis. So love from love until next time. Come on back now, you hear?